Welcome back. It is week seven. It is after the semester absence of classes. And it is the Shadowhawker self-service vending machine of education. Let's get started. We are now into the second shift of the semester. We are going to be focusing on doing things around applied work. So we're moving from theoretical frameworks, which you get to apply into your project, to talking about practical ways in which the internet can be used to facilitate the communication of your value offer, whether it's directly, as in if you have a podcast, well, audio is a direct application. If you run a YouTube channel, video is a direct application. And equally, how can we use these platforms to enable, augment, or otherwise enhance the projects we're working on? Now, there is one point of known drift. In the live learning event this week, the first hour will be conducted with video off, including my video. The second hour will be conducted video on. That will be everybody's video. We can't replicate that experience here in the Shadowhawker session. So you unfortunately do have to uh, accept that that's just not a thing that's going to happen. So there'll be some reflection people will have in terms of how was it for audio only versus video mandatory. How was the experience and a bit of debrief around that. That's not gonna be a thing that will happen in the shadow session. And I'm sorry, but so no one drift, drift detected. We are on the second shift, we're on the second half. Uh, there are five applications and they're done in pairs with appropriate. So audio and video, image and text, markets and marketplace, community and collaboration. Then we're into the mobile phones and we close it out on the review. As always, the Slido is open. The docs are available on the website. Two things to make a note. The self-self internship, as it has now, you've come back from the semester absence of classes. Back in episode six, we asked you to go and set yourself a goal for what you were going to do with those two weeks. Well, now it's a check-in time. We want to see how it went. We also want you to start thinking in terms of what are the pieces of information that you need to be collating in order to progress your ePortfolio development. And also the ETPR, what metrics are you using? How close are you to attaining a goal? Have you already reached one? Start working towards that. And of course, since we're back underway in semester, get into the Padlet, give it a go, get onto the forum and share content. And one of the things we want to draw your attention to is we're going to ask you to start reflecting on some of the experience of the activity. And there are things that are foreseeable and there are things that are foreseen. And the foreseen foreseeable is you knew it was going to happen and it did. Therefore, congratulations, that went right, tick a box. The foreseen unforeseeable is where you can't say for certain what the outcome will be, but you've got a contingency plan that covered it even though that may not have been what you intended. Now, case in point is actually the live learning classes encounter a, an error in the, so far as this course was designed to have a live event and the Shadowhawk self-service event. That design was implemented and set up before I knew what the timetable was. And when timetabling gave me a Monday class, that meant that I had a Monday live event interrupted by a public holiday. This channel was then the foreseen unforeseeable. I couldn't predict when my class would be, but I could set something into place that if something that was foreseeable, a gap, an interrupt, a break, I could have something in place to who counteract it. Now, the unforeseen foreseeable is where it's face palm city in the aftermath and you're like, how didn't I see this coming? Uh, I have a lot of that every time I run a course because one of the things that tends to happen is somebody comes up with an idea and I'm like, you know, of all the scenarios I ran, that wasn't one, but really, how did I miss? Uh, big shout out to the student who had that happen last year and my response was to set them a whole bunch of sociology readings. The final one, the unforeseen unforeseeable. That is out of left field. That is where you stop, go, what was that? Now, this can be catastrophic success as much as catastrophic failure. So in the unforeseen unforeseeable. I create content for this subject. I put this content up onto the internet. I put it on my uh, YouTube channel, the Dr. Stephen Dan YouTube channel. Say one of those pieces I put up goes absolutely ballistically viral and suddenly millions of people have watched it. Well, I can't say I've seen that coming and I can't tell you what piece it would be and I can't tell you why. 
that's as much a thing as in 2019, uh, when we were all putting our course designs together for 2020, no one saw the plague outbreak coming. However, those of us who were running the foreseen unforeseeable, aka had digital delivery modes, we were able to go, huh, would you look at that? Everyone's online now. Oh well, it wasn't what we expected. We didn't expect a global pandemic and um, two years of shutdowns, lockdowns, and other. But also, we went, yeah, all right, we, we can deal with that. So, reflective task time. I'm going to ask that you crack open the timer, 10 minutes on the clock. And what I'm going to ask that you do is I want you to have a look at that section. Now, I just want to give you a quick uh, heads up. Every document in the series now, from here to the end of the show, is going to have the one sentence project pitch or something like it, where I get you to reiterate what your project is about. And I want you to type it up afresh each time, because the more times you reconceptualize and re-explain and rewrite, the better it becomes. Your task here is to get in and go, how's the project going? What have been unforeseen challenges? What have been unforeseen opportunities? What were the challenges that you saw coming that turned out to be challenges? And what were the opportunities you saw on the horizon that turned out to be opportunities? But what went expected and what went different? 10 minutes on the clock, crack open the timer, pause the video and welcome back. Good to have you back on board. The foreseen foreseeable, the things that you knew were coming, that uh, is basically what marketing strategies processes are designed to enable. When you run scenarios, when you run if this, then that statement, when you do the background planning in a marketing plan, the planning process is to help you be able to foresee reasonable and likely outcome. Now, two things I want to say. Up in the forums, talk about what was what went unexpected. What happened that you didn't see coming? Any aspect of it, whether it's a success, an adequacy, what went unexpected? I'm not asking about right and wrong. I'm not asking about better than or worse than. I'm asking about what you saw, what you projected, what you thought was likely, and what came out of some way that you didn't see it. Because of interest to me is to get you to understand, look back and say, okay, how did I not see that? Or was that something I could see? Dive into playing with audio. It will be eight minutes on the clock. What I want you to conceptualize is that project that you're currently working on. If you are doing an audio-based project, so you've got a SoundCloud, or you're running a podcast, or you're a musician, whatever it is, if it's audio only, so if you're a musician and you're streaming your sets on YouTube as you do a live DJ mix-up set and we can see the turntables, that's a video, it's audio video. But if it's just SoundCloud, that's audio. Your questions are, can you do it with audio? Can the value offer be delivered through audio alone? If so, how so? If it can't, why not? How not? Are there any barriers or advantages to using audio only? Pros and cons of audio only. And can you promote your value offer through an audio only channel? So usual deal, eight minutes on the clock. Start the timer and pause the video. Welcome back, here we go. The question of the day. With the audio and knowing that you're just going to be doing it purely on audio, can you do this project without the other supporting elements? And that could be a yes, no question. That could be a yes, no answer. But specifically what I want you to do is what could you do with your project purely around audio? What's, what's a, a scenario? Now you'll see in the Word document that there are a few other suggestions around, can you promote your project? Can you promote someone else's audio only? Can we shout out to yeah, as we do the videos here, or as I, but if I was to do a podcast of the subject, could I promote other courses along the way? All right, exercise three. It's going to be another eight minutes on the clock. It is a mirror match. It's a question of, all right, we've asked about the audio. Can we do this in video? Now, obviously, I'm a big proponent of video because start with I run a YouTube show. Secondly, this, uh, the Shadow Hawker sessions are my way of using video to communicate and distribute value, to create value. I'm trying to condense the real-time interactive life event experience into a pre-recorded video. Can the value offer be delivered by video? Jeez, I hope so. Well, heck of a week to go ask that question now, isn't it? Uh, I believe it can. This is why I have done it this way. For you now, your challenge is to look at your own project and ask, 
can the value offer be delivered by video? Now, obviously, if you're running Instagram, YouTube, or TikTok, you're pretty confident on that front. I still want you to do the if so, how so. I still want you to go and say, well, what is it? What's the value element that video is creating? Uh, now, for here, for the purposes of video, I am going to enable it to be audio video combined. So I'm not expecting you to suddenly go full mime. I'm not expecting you to go creepy clown mode. If you are promoting the value proposition for your project through video, is that separate, separable and distinct from actually delivering the value proposition through the video? That's for you to think about, that's for you to question, that's gonna be the discussion on the forums. Here's the deal, eight minutes on the clock, start the timer, pause the video, and let's get going. All right, here's how we're gonna do. That was a tough one because that's got a really big philosophical question. Can an idea-based product be separated in its promotion and its distribution? Now, the question for your documentation and your discussion up on the forums is, can the value be promoted by video only? Is it something where the video is the value? Or is it something where the value co-creation comes from interaction? Tough one. All right, now I'm setting you a challenge. I'm setting you a challenge to go to the forum. And that is, there is a site called Lumen5. Set up a free account. Promote your project using a Lumen5 video. Do a promo video. So you're combining week six's promotion aspects with your project with video. I want to see them. I want you putting up a promotion video. This isn't a product summary. This is a full-fledged, you are now tasked with an advert for your project. It is the promotion of your project to get people excited by it, to get people involved in it. And hello, DLC, because this is about the applied. There is a site, it is a video creation site. There is a task, it is a video creation task, and you have a bunch of skills and knowledge that you can apply to it. Not just the challenges as they're issued, get out there on the forums, get in there. Interact, enjoy, talk to each other, but also, interesting challenge, how much, the forum doesn't really lend itself to audio and video as much as it could. It's not as good at it as it could be. So that's an opening challenge for you. Can you make the forum work? If you need me, I'm available on the platforms, on the social medias, through the email, and across the consultations. And with that, you've got some work to do, my friends, and it should be fun. Get out there, play with Lumen5, let me know how it goes. And that is that for this session. See you on the next one.